नमस्कार पढ़ा जानवा और जीणवर कार्यक्रम टार्गेट लेट्स लर्न इंग्लीश को आप स्वागत आज आम जाना गोटे वाक्यर अर्थ बा सेन्टेन्स रिनिंग को न बदल किपर यह आक्टिव वयस रु पैसे वयस को चेज करहब कि आप जानते ए सबूप किसी निर्दिष्ट पद्धति रही चलते जानवा ए सब पद्धति कौन Hello viewers today we are going to read another chapter of grammar that is voice active and passive why this passive voice is required we will discuss about it later but first how from active to passive it is done we will discuss it in our previous episodes we read tense and whatever we have completed so far you will have to read it again and again discuss it with your friends and in the family so that you will find it easier when you read the next chapter like for example we are going to read today voice active to passive it is done exactly according to tense for example like simple present if a sentence is in simple present the gardener plants trees here gardener is subject trees is object so what happens in active to passive object becomes subject subject becomes object without changing the meaning meaning should not change like the gardener plants trees so trees are planted by the gardener this is simple present another example of simple present suppose you say i do this work this work is done by me say if it is i it becomes by me if it is he it is by him like that and you see this simple present because it happened like that at present continuous what happened the gardener is planting a tree so a tree is being planted by the gardener and if the sentence is i am doing this work this work is being done by me he is doing this work this work is being done by him that means in present continuous we use being the word b e i n g being and if it is present perfect the gardener has planted a tree so a tree has been planted by the gardener i have done this work this work has been done by me he has done this work this work has been done by him that means in present continuous we used being b e i n g being but in present perfect we are using the word been b w e n been has been done similarly when we go to past the gardener planted a tree a tree was planted by the gardener and i did this work so in the past we are discussing i did this work this work was done by me he did this work this work was done by him past continuous the gardener was planting a tree so here same as present continuous only in place of is you have to use was a tree was being planted by the gardener i was doing this work this work was being done by me simple past past continuous past perfect past perfect is the gardener had planted a tree so a tree had been planted by the gardener like in present perfect we said a tree has been planted by the gardener here a tree had been planted by the gardener and then future see perfect continuous i am not telling because passive form of 
perfect continuous is not there. Like present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous. They have no passive form, simple future. The gardener will plant a tree. So, a tree will be planted by the gardener and future continuous also has no passive form. Future perfect has a passive form like the gardener will have planted a tree, a tree will have been planted by the gardener. I will do this work, this work will be done by me. He will do this work, this work will be done by him. Only this 6 plus 2, 8 formats in English have active to passive. Future continuous, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous. They have no passive form. Apart from it also, we have another passive form like if it is an imperative sentence, you tell someone do this work, do this work. Imperative sentence in the sense, sentence starts with a verb, do this work. So, passive of this will be in three different types. Normally, first one is do this work, let this work be done. But if this is a request, do this work please, you are requested to do this work. And in case it is an order, you are ordered to do, do this work. You are ordered to do this work. All these six tense and plus imperative. Imperative is also imperative is also simple present. So, but a slightly different format. But one thing you will notice from active to passive, whatever is the form of verb in active. It was maybe doing or did or do or does, but in passive it has to be the third form, past participle, done. Like I am doing this work, this work is being done, see always it is done. In active maybe it is doing, maybe it is did, maybe uh, it is does, but in passive it is always done. गोटे सेंटेंस को एक्टिव वॉइस रु पैसिव वॉइस को केमिति परिवर्तन करी हबो अर्ली सर को तो आमे भलो भाबे रे जानि नेले हेले मो मन रे गोटे प्रश्न आसु छी जदि आमे गोटे सेंटेंस को डायरेक्ट एक्टिव वॉइस रे कुहंते ताहेले असुविधा कोन हुंता आ पैसिव वॉइस रो आवश्यकता कोन अछि एमति किछ प्रश्न आपन को मन रे भी आसु छी ना चलंतु ताहेले अर्ली सर को तो जानिबा एक्टिव वॉइस रु पैसिव वॉइस रे परिवर्तन करी बारे कौन आवश्यकता रही थी? One more thing you will see that in passive form, the sentence is passive form. How will you come to know? Verb cannot be single word. It has to be more than one word. Maybe two words or three words. Like in active, we can use one word to to speak our sentence. But in passive, we'll have to use. Uh, more than that. Now, we come to know, we will know about why this passive form is required. We can always speak, we can always speak inactive. Why passive is required? See, this is the thing, when doer is the subject, we say it is active. But sometimes, you know, we attach more importance to the work, not to the doer. The person who is doing that work is not important. Like for example, someone is asking, where is your car? You say, my car is being painted. My car is being painted. See, actually the thing is that the painter is painting my car. But here painter is not important at all, that is his work he is doing. Here the work is what? What's happening to your car? You can say my car is being painted by the painter is also not required here. In most of the cases you will see this by agent 
in passive voice is not required. When the doer is understood, like the sentence I told you, my car is being painted means by the painter. Here painter is not important at all, the work is important. Okay, the case has already been put up. Put up means whoever is dealing the case, the dealer has put up the case. But you don't say dealer, dealer because here doer is not important. The work, what is the situation, what is the condition of the file? You say it has been put up or it has already been put up means definitely by the dealer. One more sentence you see, the police have arrested the thief. Here these type of sentences are always said in passive because here every one of us know that no one else has the power to arrest. So, the thief has been arrested or the thief is arrested. The thief was arrested. Here by the police not required because it is understood. So, this is what we talk about by and you see some more things about why passive voice is required. First thing you came to know that when the work is more important than the doer. Work is more important than the doer, we say it in passive voice. Secondly, we do not know who has done it. Okay. Suppose A killed B or A murdered B. You do not know who murdered. So, you say B was murdered, B was killed. You do not know by whom or due to some reason you do not want to tell even though you know it may interfere with the inquiry or something like that. So, there also passive is used. So, you can say three areas where passive is used. When work is more important than the doer. Okay. Second, when you do not know actually who has done it. Thirdly, you know but due to some reason you do not want to tell you want to hide it. So, it is passive is the best form of telling. Ebe I am clearly bujhi gale, ko dino ti karana pahi passive voice ro aavasya gata rahi chi. Ebe I asuntu jani ba English language ro aav gote important use bishare. Seta ho chi reported speech. Mane speech ti direct speech na indirect speech. Ebe I aapanga monare prasno asuntu ba seta pooni kaana. ताले चालन तो जानी बा कहाँ को कुहा जाए डायरेक्ट स्पीच आउ कहाँ को कुहा जाए इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच। So now we are going to learn about narration. That is direct to indirect. Why this direct to indirect speech is required? Because direct speech is whatever the spokesperson, whatever the person who said. Exactly that sentence is direct speech. And when you are redu reproducing it to another person, that becomes indirect speech. So, while doing from direct to indirect, we will have to follow certain rules. And as in active to passive, we were doing it as per the tense. You know, in different tense, we did many examples for that. Here, examples will not be like that, will be slightly different, but you know, it is done according to your sentence. Like in English, we have four types of sentence. So, four different types of like assertive, interrogative, imperative and exclamatory four different type of sentences, four different set of rules. Because of that, whenever we read this, we have to be very careful, because the rule which is, ap which is applicable for assertive sentence cannot be for interrogative. For example, you see in assertive sentence, 
an exclamatory sentence. We use that while lifting inverted commas in indirect speech. But in interrogative and imperative sentence that is not used. It is wrong to use uh, that. Moreover, our reporting verb is also different. So, today, today we will discuss assertive sentence. How an assertive sentence is translated into or converted into indirect speech. It should be clear that direct speech, the person who is speaking that, exactly those sentences, those words are direct speech. When you are reproducing it, it becomes indirect speech. So, for example, you see the sentence is, I am playing now, I am playing now, you will tell it in indirect speech. So, what happens here? Suppose whoever said it, Ram said, Ram said that that whatever direct speech is that, I am playing now. I became he, because we are using, I is used for Ram. Ram was playing then. One step past tense. It is called one step past tense. From direct to indirect, whenever you do, we will have to follow the rule of one step past tense. What is this one step past tense? One step past tense is while lifting inverted commas, we use this one step past tense formula means if it is the sentence is present continuous, it becomes past continuous. If it is simple present, it is simple past. Present perfect becomes past perfect. So on and so forth and if the sentence is past perfect, it has no past tense. So, that remains as past perfect. Past perfect Will, will become past perfect only. There is no further past tense to it. And you have to know that I am playing now becomes Ram said that he was playing then. If Ram said I have done my homework, present perfect will become past perfect. Ram said that he had done his homework, then present continuous and present perfect and simple present also. I play, suppose someone says I play cricket. Ram said that he played cricket because play is simple present, it becomes simple past and that is used no inverted commas in indirect speech. So, this way we will proceed and we will have to remember certain things like some words you know they change when they are direct to indirect speech. Like now becomes then, today becomes that day, tomorrow becomes the next day, yesterday the previous day or the day before. Certain things you know change like that because we are making it one step past tense. Achha, why this one step past tense? Because that our reporting verb is past tense, said. Reporting verb is said. So, it becomes one step past tense. So, we have come to know that one step past tense we do because our reporting verb is past tense. But here, two things you have to remember that if our reporting verb is not past tense, normally in indirect speech, we never come across a situation where reporting verb will be present tense. But in case reporting verb is given to be, is taken to be present tense, then that one step past tense will not, that rule of one step past tense will not be, be used. Like you know, I play cricket, we said what? I play cricket became, he said that, Ram said that he played cricket. But if said is reporting verb, Ram says that he plays cricket. We can't say he played cricket because here reporting verb is present tense. But normally 
reporting verb has to be past tense because someone said to you something and you are reporting it to somebody else. So, there is a time lapse. So, definitely it has to be past tense. One more thing which comes so many times in error also that sometimes reporting verb is past tense. Then even we cannot make one step past tense. Why? Because in case the sentence is a universal truth or any truth like it may be sentence may be a geographical truth, may be any scientific truth. So, all truth sentence like you know for example, the earth is round. Suppose the sentence is the earth is round. So, the teacher said that I mean, jo rule padile, according to that it should be what one step past tense means the teacher said that the earth was round kintu nine. That rule is not applicable here. Kaingi na ita universal truth. The teacher said that the earth is round. And if it is a geographical truth also. Suppose the sentence is China is to the north of India. So, it will remain the teacher said that or the teacher taught that China is to the north of India. It he was Habunahi. So, you have to remember two things. If a reporting verb is present tense, that one step past tense rule is not applicable. And if the sentence is truth, is a truth, maybe geographical truth, universal truth or scientific truth, that will not become past tense. Like in, in science what happens? Opposite charges attract each other. So, it will remain that the teacher taught us that opposite charges attract each other. It he attracted our Habuni. One step past tense rule is not applicable here. So, that is all today. In the next episode, my dear viewers, we will read about interrogative sentence, imperative and exclamatory. Till such time, goodbye. Thank you. English Kohiba ba lekhiba kuni jodi monare kono si prosno asuchi tebe amuku nischay janebe. Amara email ID hela sankal tv at the rate gmail.com.